Hey, what's going on, guys? Another day, another vlog. Today is Motivational Mondays. So today's motivation is keep going. Every day is not going to look like a great day. You're not going to get a win every single day. But just realize, man, the seeds that you plant today, you may not get them next week. You may not get them next month, but they are going to come. Keep working hard and doing your best every single day. And trust me, it's going to work out. That's what people have been telling me as I've gotten started on my journey. And I see that it's happening. The things that I met with people about in July and August, here it is November. And now those things are starting to come into fruition. Be consistent, you know, uh, stay persistent, keep your mindset in a positive way, get around people who are better than you that can push you to thinking bigger. Motivational Mondays, like it, share it, appreciate it, guys. Hey, guys, it's another day, another vlog. Today is Tax Tuesday, where we give you a tax tip to help you with your business. Today, we'll do cars and travel. Yes, you can take any and all car expenses that are related to business. There's a formula behind it, but basically you need to be able to keep track of all your gas, um, like your license, cars, getting tires fixed, car maintenance. And at the end of the year, you give it to somebody like myself who's an accountant and we'll help you figure that out. So yes, you can take it as long as you can back it up with receipts. Of course, you can do that the best way, keeping great bookkeeping. So that's today's Tax Tuesday tip. You can deduct car expenses. All right, do these tips, man. It'll help you, it'll save you money, it'll make you a better business owner. Have a great day, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Another day, another vlog. Today is Work It Wednesday, teaching you how to keep working that plan. Today we'll keep it really short and simple work your plan so for example if you set a business goal let's say by the end of the year i'm gonna have 10 clients then what are you doing to specifically reach that goal have you identified who your target audience is your target market where are they how can you reach them how can you contact them you know what are you doing to put yourself in position to make that happen so work your plan to the T, be relentless in it. If that means getting up early, staying up late, hitting events two or three or four or five every single day, every single week, then do what you have to do so that you can work that plan and meet that goal. Another day, another vlog, working Wednesdays. Have a great day, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? Another day, another vlog. Today is Transform Thursday, where we're trying to get you to transform that mindset to make you a better business owner. Um, today, in terms of transforming your mindset, I know for me, one of the things that was really challenging coming from corporate to now starting my own business was just the time that it required. You know, you have to transform your mind. It's no longer just eight to five. You're going into work. You know that you're going to do the same things every day. No, you're the business owner now. You own the business. So some days are more marketing and you have to come home and do what it is that you're actually good at. Some days it's all day playing catch up because you've done so much marketing and sales and cold calling and networking and different things. Um, but it's all work to transform your mindset to not pay attention to the time, but to the quality of work that you're going to get done. All right. Transform that mind. Transform it Thursdays. Have a great day, guys. Hey, guys, another day, another vlog. Today is Frugal Friday. So how can you save some money? I said this last week, but I really want to say it again. When you're starting a business, hire the correct people. You know, a lot of times we say, well, oh, I can do my own marketing or, oh, I can do my own accounting. But let me ask you this question. Do you make more money doing what it is that you do or do you make more money doing your own marketing or your own accounting? Exactly. Don't go in there and mess up everything. And then next thing you know, you know, you have to pay somebody like myself or some type of professional to come in, clean it up, upcharge you when you could have had them doing it correctly the whole entire time and saved yourself the pennies that you know that you would well not pennies but <laughs> what you would end up getting charged so guys save yourself money by allowing the people who go to school to do it to do it for you frugal fridays